Cooper and Alexis were the biggest love story to come out of the Red Light series. Even after all these years, many people ask, where are they now? Well, today I'm here to fill you in. I am happy to say they are still very much in love. They've traveled the world, gotten married, and even adopted a pet. They're thriving and it's beautiful to see. They're literally couple goals. Let's go talk to them about it. Alexis, you look beautiful. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, Oh, you're filming! <laughs> hey, isn't this that creep that's been following us and taking pictures? Oh, um, yeah. Oh, it, it's it's not what you think. Dude, you're creepy. Get out of here. No, I, I just, I love you guys. Just keep filming, keep filming. How do you love this? Another great love story from Red Lights was the love triangle between Velvet, Red, and Diesel. Who would she choose? Who was her perfect match? Well, today we're going to find out. Welcome to the dating game. Velvet, how are you feeling? Great. I am getting paid for this, right? All right, let's meet our bachelors. Bachelor number one is a self-described sad boy who enjoys laid-back nights at home reliving traumatic memories while crying into his pillow. And bachelor two smells like a skunk and can eat a McRib in one bite. So Velvet, you have some questions for these gentlemen to see which one is right for you? I do? Oh, yes, uh, I do. <laughs> Bachelor number one, what are you looking for in a woman? A soul that I can connect with on a spiritual level. Someone whose eyes I can look into and read every emotion they've ever felt. Understand them on a level that is outer worldly. Someone I can love unconditionally for all of eternity. Aww. Wow, that is so beautiful. And an ass so fat it would bring a tear to your eye. All right, um, Bachelor 2. Do you see life in a glass half empty way or a glass half full way? I don't care too much. I just drink whatever's in the glass. Great. Bachelor 1. What are some nicknames you've had? Fluffy Butt. No, I don't want to elaborate. Bachelor number 2. Where is your favorite place to spend time? The swamp behind Olive Garden. How charming. Now, here's a question for both of you. What is one word that describes your life? Sad. Chaotic. Okay, bachelor number one. Do you spend time on the internet? If so, which site is your favorite? Is this a trick question? Did you get my browser history? I can explain that. You see, I have two female friends and they were looking for some new cups for their new apartment. And I, all right, bachelor, we've heard enough. Velvet, back to you. Bachelor two, what's your theme song? Anything from the Shrek soundtrack. All right, bachelors, this is another one for both of you. A kid comes up to you and kicks you in the shin. What do you do? Talk to them with compassion and understanding to really try and figure out where this acting out behavior is coming from. I'd beat that little bastard into the pavement. Okay, uh, bachelor one. A cashier gives you back way too much money. What do you do? Honestly, I'd take the money and run. <laughs> yes, sir. Bachelor 2, what color best describes your personality? Red. Another one for both of you. What's your favorite body of water? The Dead Sea. I relate. The swamp behind the local olive garden. Okay, Bachelor 1, what is your greatest achievement? I once went three days without crying. Amazing. Bachelor 2. Do you give money to homeless people? I am homeless people. Okay. Bachelor number 1. If you could change one mistake from your past, what would it be? The cashier at the movie theater once said, enjoy the movie. And I said, you too. That haunts me. Oh yeah, and throwing that house party while having a gun just lying around was probably not a great idea either. Truly riveting. Here's another one for you both. How do you de-stress from a bad day? Crawl into my bed and violently cry into my pillow. Light up a fat joint. All right, Bachelor 2, where is a perfect first date spot? The swamp behind Olive Garden. Man, you just gotta be there. 
Bachelor One, what are your best qualities? A homeless man once told me that I had soulful eyes. Did I tell you that? Bachelor Two, do you have any children? Not that I know of. Bachelor One, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Deader than I am now. All right, Velvet, it's that time in the show where you have to narrow things down and choose who you'd like to ask your remaining questions to. So, who is it gonna be? Um, I think I'm connecting most with bachelor number two. Great! Bachelor number two, get ready for some rapid fire questions. Velvet, whenever you're ready. Okay, bachelor number two, who do you live with? Currently a pretty rabbit sewer rat. I've named Conway Twitty. What is the last book you read, and did you enjoy it? I have never read a book in my life. What do you wish others knew about your heart or the way that you think? Probably that my thoughts are so much worse than my actions, so you should all be grateful. Did you go to college? Is that a joke? What does your perfect weekend look like? It's gotta be spending time at the swamp. Let me guess, the swamp behind Olive Garden? Oh my god, how'd you know? And that concludes question period. Bachelors, do you have any last words? Actually, let's save the suspense. I already know who I'm gonna choose. Oh wow, who is it gonna be? Cameraman number three. Uh, me? Yes, you. Well, isn't this a shocking turn of events, folks? I've already been with both of these bozos. I want some fresh meat. Oh, she is sick for this. Well, sorry fellas, guess it didn't work out this time. But hey, we've still got that free fancy romantic dinner giveaway. What do you say? Is it gay to have a date with another man? So you want to hit up the swamp behind Olive Garden and watch the sunset? Sure man, that sounds beautiful. <laughs>